Hey everybody, Ben from the Ben Podcast and welcome to Star Player Spotlight. We are looking at every star player in Blood Bowl 2020, rulebook, spike, straight to the website, whatever. Now, Amazons have been released. Spike 15 has landed and they landed with three very cool star players. And one of them that I think is going to go a little bit underrated is Estelle Leverno. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what she does, how much she costs and who she plays for. Okay, so Estelle is Lustrian Super League only. So we're talking Lizards, we're talking Amazons, and we're talking Slan at this point. Now, maybe Games Workshop will drop us a skink team or something different. But for now, we are blessed to have three different teams. Now, that does mean that she's going to be a bit more of an edge case. So that's pretty limiting when it comes to being able to run her but it also means if you do run her your opponent will not have likely played against her before so as we look through how much she costs and what she can do for your team do consider the fact that she's not going to be appearing that often so if you've got a cunning strategy put together with Estelle on your side your opponent is not going to have played around her before so you're going to have a little bit of advantage in that way and let's talk about what Estelle does. So, like I said, she plays for the Lustrian Super League. Movement 6, Strength 3, Edge 3+, plus, Passing 4+, plus, Armor 8+, plus, means that she is a 190k for an Amazon line woman. But I'm sure there's more to her than that. So, 190k. She's got some skills. Disturbing Presence, Dodge, Guard, Loner 4+, plus, and Sidestep. All right, let's begin with the obvious. Dodge, she is an Amazon linewoman. That is that is her stats. That is how she's going to move on the pitch. That's how she's going to be able to achieve things. She's got that dodge to keep her active. Now, she's also got sidestep, which is going to be really, really useful for positioning her exactly where you want to go. And quite frankly, anything with dodge step is aggravating already. Blodge step is obviously better, but this is going to mean that she is hard enough to hit and also you get to reposition her to exactly where you want so if you need to score with her you can do so if you need her to be in the right position to give an assist then you can and sidestep with dodge means that when she's punched she is probably going to be moving one square to wherever you want her to be because she comes with guard now i think this is the first second star player with guard i think ivar erickson's got guard now and it's such a good thing to have on a star player Sidestep is going to be what a regular skill for Amazons, so a secondary skill for Amazons. So let's say that's what 40k. Guard is a secondary skill, so that's 80k. So 130k. Then you've got Disturbing Presence, which is a weird one. So actually, she's pretty reasonably fairly costed. But ignore all of that. What this player is here to do is to use that sidestep and that guard to support your team. This is a positional that comes in quite expensive at 190. It's not not the cheapest thing but having a player with dodge step and guard is going to be able to help your players make more blocks so if you are in a league situation estelle is going to help you farm spp it's going to help your team be more consistent and achieve things that you need to achieve more often so think about it from that point of view and you although you can tell your opponent this is a dodge step guard piece on the pitch, Estelle is going to be one of the most frustrating star players to play against. If you've ever played against Noblars or Snotlings, you will know how aggravating dodge step can be. This dude is strength 3 and has that guard skill as well. So you are going to be able to use her to just get 2 die, 2 die, 2 die, and it's going to be super effective. Now, <laughs> the Pokemon reference, super effective. There is also, and I'm using the wrong mouse like a fool because I have not customized my setup, um, a special ability called Baleful Hag, which is a little harsh. Oh, it's Baleful Hex. Oh, it's Baleful Hex. That says Hex, not Hag. <laughs> That's awkward. Poor frog lady. I am probably going to get cursed. Anyway, Baleful, Baleful Hex. Uh, once per game, at the beginning of Estelle's activation, choose an opposition player within five squares. That is 11 square radius. Uh, diameter, basically. She's in one square, five to the left, five to the right, is a monstrous amount of the pitch. The pitch is only 15 squares wide. This covers 11 of those. So there's going to be two squares along the edge of the pitch if she's standing in the middle of it that is going to be void from this, which is a big area of effect. 
roll a dice so once per game roll at d6 for that target player on a two plus the chosen player loses their tackle zone and cannot be activated until the end of the opposition's next team turn so until the end of the next person that's interesting so this is a forced bonehead that works on a two plus i like estelle i don't like the model very much but we've got a 190k dodge step guard piece that's also got disturbing presence because she's this weird swamp hag who can bail full hex once per game <laughs> this is super fun we got the barrel dude in the last uh, in the last release the norse guy who can just be like three plus throw a barrel at your head or whatever now we've got this positional that once per game will just stop an opponent's player from doing stuff um at the beginning of her activation on a two plus the chosen player loses their tackle zone and cannot be activated until the end of the next turn that means that they are just bamfed out of oblivion if they've got the ball they're not scoring if they've got the ball and you need to score they've got no tackle zones you just wander right up to them this is really fun now i underrated estelle when we first saw her the model is not to my taste it looks like cruella de vil just kind of went feral which is not my aesthetic for blood bowl and we've got this weird little face meme frog on her but oh this is cool this is really cool there are going to be a ton of play opportunities here if your opponent rocks up with a stella Bono to a tournament they are there to play hard with the rest of their team and use her as a 190k lineman that comes with a spell i would pay 150k for that as a wizard right two plus that dude is boneheaded for an entire turn it's in the dungeon bowl rule book basically it's basically what the college of life that just goes boom you do nothing for a whole turn that can be monstrous and can absolutely cascade so if you are a lustrian league team this could be a huge boon for you and 190k is mega achievable even at the lower t lower tournament values if you're running amazons uh what are we talking about 190k you can fit her in 1100 build i think you might have to give some you might be running a two reroll build with leader but you've got this guard sidestep piece with a spell and that is a a spell estelle nice now i've not been the kindest to this model this is the games workshop forge world model and is available now for i think 23 pounds uh, the technical skill is brilliant and the paint job has been really well done the shading is lovely and it's been really well executed personally i'm not a massive fan of it's busy there's a lot of frogs the positioning is a bit weird and like i said she's got the vibe of a disney villainess that's been living in the wild for a while which i guess is probably about right she is a disney villain that lives in a swamp and collects frogs and zaps somebody with a wizard it is however not bad and this is going to fit in with the amazon team really really well and actually because of the style of the armor it's going to fit in with your um, lizardman team too and slan oh slan mage this is cool the cool thing is because it is only a move six strength three piece you can basically proxy this with any kind of witch wizard slan frog mage kind of player that you want however Grebo games have done it again with yenna the witch which i love from a witcher point of view but i also love just from a blubber point of view now I've got to point out there's two different versions of this model this one here is 20 euros there is a cheaper version without basically the lightning and this deceased player there being turned into a frog um we've got that version coming to us for an unbox and review as well which is pretty cool so that'll be here soon in fact i don't know hopefully it'll be done by the time this video comes out but maybe not we'll see um anyway Grebo games 23 pounds for the forge world one this is a wicked model you've got all that kind of tribal jungle vibe you've got a creepy skull you've got the posing is brilliant and also it's grebo yes yenna the witch no effect 13 euros which is basically everything except her hand is bare instead of having a, a, a lightning zap i think this model is much 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 cooler you've still got all the kind of like jungle stuff and there's still frogs on her shoulder to get that vibe across it is cheaper and it is a probably better sculpt uh in my opinion and probably been um cast better as well with the way that grebo are doing their models recently i'm a really big fan of this but quite frankly 
it's a strength six star player it doesn't massively matter as long as that is evidently a star player and it's kind of a witch a wizard a frog dude you're good to go i think when it comes to running this star player okay so estelle with her spell is amazing i really love this i really love this i was super excited by glottal stop boa constrictor is just really cool tech for your team but this is an Amazon woman with a mutation, a double, a double, and a spell for 190k. It is still expensive, and being able to afford this in a tournament might stretch you a little bit. In a, in a league game, she's not going to win the game for you, but this is the ultimate kind of supporting star player. Dodge Guard sidestep is going to be useful all of the time. It's going to be useful 16 turns of that game. And once per game, there's that cheeky 2 plus ability to just freeze a player in turn and that player could be trying to score a turn eight turn 16 -er. it could just be that opening play where you've got a brilliant blitz but actually you need one player to not be there as long as they're within five squares of estelle two plus freezes them in time basically turns them into a frog for a turn essentially and it's just so cool i cannot wait to see estelle at tournaments because i think that's going to be such a cool difference maker on the pitch she will not win the game by herself the spell may not work and at strength three with no block and armor eight plus she's super vulnerable but it's a risk and it's a risk that can cause a brilliant series of activations and and i'm super excited i really hope we see estelle at sca because i would love to cast a game with her on the pitch because it's a really unique star player it's going to blow out sometimes and it's going to fail some other times, but it's going to be interesting every single time. And fail case? Oh man, dodge step guard is so aggravating. I want bombers on Estelle. I want stab on Estelle because she can really mess up a game and it's going to be so exciting to see. Anyway, let me know what you think of Estelle in the comments below because I am intrigued if everyone else is excited about her as much as I am. And I'm going to disappear, but we'll be back very soon with more Blubble content. Happy turning people into frogs. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to support the channel even further, please like and subscribe. It really does help us out. Or come join us on YouTube members or in Patreon, where you can get exclusive access to some content, some loot, early access to basically everything we do, as well as regular competitions. Or you can pick up some Bonehead Podcast loot either on our website at boneheadpodcast.com. We've got the Dungeon Bowl things. We've got tokens and stuff like that. Or on our Spreadshirt site as well. Everything you do just helps us make more content and hopefully do it of better quality. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Happy blocking.